Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. All right, 2023 was the year that I said I would finally start branching out to testing out, trying out, if you will, some different candle companies. Um, I think we all have our like go-to favorite candle companies. Um, we're all pretty familiar with what my usual go-tos are. The reason that I have in the past tended to stick with the same company over and over again for the most part is because I always knew what to expect. Um, you know, purchasing the products over and over again gives you a really good sense of exactly how they burn, how to deal with any problems that might arise with, you know, the different brands like they all every candle company has something that you know is like an issue for them and we all kind of learn to work around those issues especially if we really appreciate the fragrances or if we really appreciate the quality of the burn or who knows maybe it's the packaging doesn't matter everybody has their reason right um but um this year i thought it might be kind of fun to just try something new and um not only uh spend my money in the same place over and over again just kind of spread the wealth a little bit if you will and so that's what we're doing today we are going to be talking about two new candles that i picked up and you might be like two that's boring um here's the thing <laughs> these particular candles are at a slightly higher price point i'm not sure well i feel like these would probably fall in the luxury candle brand category we are discussing glass house by the way so i have two candles here um but before we get into it i always kind of like to share how i became inspired to check out different companies and um, i was inspired to check out glass house by uh, my friend shantae over on instagram i have followed her for quite some time Shantae has a fantastic Instagram account. A lot of you are probably already following her. Um, she shares a lot of candles over there and um, she's just very honest, very forthcoming. Um, I find that her reviews are like we have kind of like, I don't want to say the same taste because I think we both kind of appreciate slightly different scents, but I feel like her reviews are always really helpful to me. She presents them in a way where like it just kind of clicks for me and I'm like, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. I need to try it. So anyway, Shantae was the one who I originally started noticing posting about Glass House and I was like, those look like really pretty candles. I should check them out. And so I did initially a little bit last year and I was like, oh, these are a little bit more spendy. Maybe I'll put them on the list to try next year. So next year's here. So I decided to pick up two. Now, thank you Shantae <laughs> for, for this rabbit hole. Um, I will link Shantae's uh, Instagram in the description box down below. I will also put a link to where I purchased these. And um, so I purchased these off of Skin Store. They're available at Skin Store. You can find glass house candles in a variety of places. However, I, I have an influencer <laughs> discount code, which I hate, I hate that word. It's like my least favorite word on the planet, but I have a discount code with Skin Store and it worked on these candles and it gave me 25% off of my purchase. So I will put the discount code in the description box down below. It will work on these glass house candles. It also works on um, other things over on skin store. If you just want to save 25%, the code will be down below. So happy shopping. If you choose to partake glass house candles, it looks like they're av uh, available in kind of three different sizes. There's a single wick, which retails for I think around and do not quote me on these prices I really should have brought my phone in here but the battery was dying so it's charging right now I believe those are $20 they have this two wick 13.5 ounce size and this retails for $50 without the 25% off and then there's also a larger three wick size that retails for $90 and I don't know how much wax is in the three wick, but I'm going to go ahead and probably put these in the luxury price point. Most of us probably are not going to regularly purchase a 13.4 ounce candle for $50. And again, I didn't pay $50. What, what was it like? $37.50. I, I don't remember the exact amount. 
I can't do math in my head, so please feel free if you can do it in yours to do it. But so I don't think most of us really, you know, see a 13.4 ounce candle for $50 and think I really need to try that. So taking one for the team here. Um, and we're going to review these. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, um, so the two fragrances that I decided to purchase are One Night in Rio, which is passion fruit and lime, and we're going to discuss the packaging and all this stuff. And then the other one that I picked up, I hope I don't butcher this, a Taha Affair, Taha Affair, T-A-H-A-A -A -A Affair, um, and this one is Vanilla Caramel. I don't actually love caramel a lot of times. But I saw vanilla and thought, well, I like vanilla, so let's give it a try. Okay, these candles come out of Australia, of all places. Um, I say of all places because, so my brother and my sister-in-law, uh, my sister-in-law was born and raised in Australia, and my brother moved down there a long time ago. Anyway, they got married. They have adorable Australian children with accents, just little tiny people with the super cute Australian accents. But... One of the things that my sister-in-law Kim always complains about is there really aren't very many candles available in Australia. Like they just have a very limited selection. And I just thought it was kind of funny that like this high-end candle company is actually based out of New South Wales in Australia. Um, my brother and my sister-in-law live, uh, they live on the Gold Coast. So they're up like towards Brisbane. But anyway, so these are soy candles. They come out of Australia and the packaging's very nice. The box is solid. It has kind of that nice, like soft feel texture. If you remember the packaging of like the, the NARS makeup items, like their compacts, that same kind of soft feel. I don't know what it's called. It's velvet, it's not velvet. It doesn't matter. And um, yeah, so when you open your box, you get your candle, there are, some instructions on the inside here gives you some caution obviously never leave a burning candle unattended um, glass will become hot do not pick do not attempt to pick up or move the candle when burning um, prevent soot from forming on glass by keeping wicks trimmed and trimmed to seven millimeters during each um, and every burn so there's some nice instructions for you. And um, then on the back, it gives you a nice little blurb. So let's read all about the One Night in Rio Passion Fruit and Lime. Um, all right. Feel the beat of a thousand feet dancing to the rhythm and laughter on the street. Ripe passion fruit, lime, raspberry, and orange keep you moving, electrified and enlivened to maintain the pace all day and all night with this city at Carnival. All right, and then they say, we want you to love every moment of this scented soy candle. Glasshouse fragrance candles have been crafted using only the highest quality soy blend, um, wax with all natural lead-free cotton wicks, which encourage a burn that is pure and intensely fragrant. I am looking forward to intense fragrance, especially again, for the price point. Um, there's also a little card, um, a candle care card that comes with your box and it's just all the use. And apparently uh, the co-founder and CEO is a nice lady named Nicole. So, all right, Nicole, let's, let's check out. Okay, it's like an apothecary style. It does come with a really nice little lid. I could totally see myself repurposing this jar afterwards i think this would be really cute to put q-tips in i'm big on like recycling reusing especially candle jars now i have a ton of them so a lot of them i just give away to someone who i know collects glass i don't, I don't actually know what she does with all of my candle jars but she wants them and i give them to her and off she goes um now the label here is it's not a removable label if you will um this is it feels like it's painted maybe painted onto the glass um the label on the bottom i do imagine that you can probably peel off after you're all done but you are left with this glass house um logo here that you're not gonna be able to take off so you got your little oh that's really on there got your little lid with the it's, it's adorable and these wicks 
Okay, it looks like this wax is a little softer. It definitely feels like a soy, like a soy wax for sure. It's slightly softer. All right, I have to stick my nose in this. Ooh, okay. First thing that hits me is actually a mix between that passion fruit and lime. The lime is a very like freshly ripe green lime. Um, you know how when you get a lime, sometimes they're not like super juicy yet because they're like super fresh. I feel like a lime tastes almost better after it has like sat on your counter for a few days after bringing it home, like it softens a little bit. This smells like that really fresh, almost like hard lime. And the passion fruit is nice and sweet and tangy. I almost wish it was just the passion fruit. I knew I was gonna be getting lime in here and honestly, lime is not one of my favorite citrus fragrances. I think I lean more towards like tangerine, orange. Um, I don't even love grapefruit that much. I admire certain grapefruit fragrances, but it's, you know, it's not my favorite. And lime is probably my least favorite citrus. But it's actually done quite well in here. I think the fact that it blends with the um, the passion fruit so well makes it enjoyable. And it's just a very intense, um, almost like you, you're squeezing like the lime skin and you're getting that lime oil. Like it's just a very intense lime. But nice for sure. So raspberry and orange, am I getting any of that? I do, I do smell a little bit of that orange in the background, but the lime is a lot stronger than the orange note. And the raspberry, I can actually see the raspberry in here as well, or smell the raspberry in here as well. But it's definitely taking a back seat, at least on cold sniff, to that passion fruit and that like lime essence. That's very intense, it's very forward. This is a very interesting scent in that it has sweetness to it, but I almost wish that it was a little bit sweeter smelling. And I'm wondering if that could potentially come out when I light this because a lot of times fragrances that I wish would be a little bit sweeter do sweeten up after I light them. Something about the flame just intensifies the sweetness of the fragrances sometimes. And I feel like this might be one of those cases. I really am enjoying this on cold sniff. I am super excited to see how this burns. Um, I will say I like the fact that this is a softer wax because I think it's probably going to pool out somewhat quickly. Um, I really am enjoying the packaging. It looks like the wick clips are glued. I can't really see them, but I can definitely see that they're like glued really well to the bottom here from the shadow. You can actually see the glue. So I think this is going to be a very interesting one, especially for the summertime. So um, I will certainly begin burning this here at some point this week. And um, I'd like to get to at least, I don't know, I, I, I'm not gonna try to like necessarily get to the halfway point before reporting back, but I'm gonna at least try to get like a quarter or a third of the way down before I share a review with you guys. So I'm gonna need to light this up ASAP because super curious about how that one performs. All right, let's talk about this one. First of all, I love this shade of lavender or something. Well, it kind of matches my top today, doesn't it? <laughs> this like mauve lavender, I just think is so beautiful. So, all right, so this is the vanilla and caramel and it's called a Taha, Taha Affair. Sorry, I'm sure I'm butchering that. All right, um, northwest of nowhere in the turquoise belt of the South Pacific lies Taha. That's, it's gotta be a place, right? <laughs> A perfectly lush green haven to sail to nowhere. Vanilla bean, frankincense, and coconut layer together, and you're there in the warm, sweet air of the vanilla island. Ooh. I don't actually like warm weather, but I would probably go to this island. It sounds like a delicious place. <laughs> All right, let's smell this one. This one is quite strong, and it's really wafting out of the box. Now, this one I did not smell when I first opened the box. It was kind of like, you know, contained within the glass. But this, th something is hitting me right away and it's definitely a caramel. 
And it's an interesting caramel because it doesn't smell super overly sweet. So, ooh, look at the color of that. That's an interesting shade, right? It's almost like a mustard yellow, like a 1970s mustard yellow. Wow. It's very, very interesting. All right. Ooh la la. Okay. This is nice. I, I really like this caramel. You know why? Because it's not overly sweet. Um, I find a lot of times, especially um, Harry Slatkin over at Homeworks, he likes to do a lot of caramel. <laughs> and his caramel tends to be a very intensely sweet caramel. This is not. This is, like, don't get me wrong. It still has sweetness to it. But it's not like that where it makes your mouth water, like, involuntarily like it's not that sickeningly cloyingly sweet and I like that a lot I also can smell that coconut it adds a nice like nuttiness and uh, additional sweetness oh it oh this does it's this smells quite tropical despite being very gourmand and it's like overall base I do feel like the vanilla that they put in here, it does come across as a very tropical vanilla. There's a touch of floral, like a vanilla floral note to this for sure, but it's mostly that creamy, rich caramel with like, like a whipped vanilla throughout it. Oh, it's, this is nice, you guys. Oh, I want to keep smelling this. And the more I stick my nose in it, the more I notice that coconut for sure. As far as frankincense, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I get anything in the way of frankincense, really. Yeah, no. This is really good, you guys. This one is yummy. Okay, I'll have to learn how to read these codes on the bottom here, but it looks like these were both poured in, the first two numbers are 2-1, so I'm gonna assume these were poured in 2021. Um, hopefully that was a good year for Glass House, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long this brand has been around. I should probably do a little bit more research into them. So when I go to do my individual in-depth reviews, I will try to give you guys some more information about the company, their history, um, the founder, sort of what, you know, their approach to home fragrances. I'm gonna research them a little bit more, but in the meantime, I gotta light these bad boys up because they are so pretty, you guys. Look at these, they're so pretty. Kind of a fan. Um, not a super fan of the price point, but here's the thing. Every once in a while, I do think it's nice to splurge on a candle that maybe you wouldn't necessarily think about getting otherwise just to think of it as a way to like treat yourself and you know maybe you'll get it and maybe the candle will not burn perfectly or maybe you know whatever but just i think every once in a while it's nice just to do a little something nice for yourself and um you know if you have always been interested in splurging on a spendier candle just Purge on one and see what happens, you know? Um, do I think that I'm gonna be purchasing Glass House in bulk? Probably not. Um, but that being said, I think it's fun to try new brands and I'm really grateful to Shantae for um, taking a chance on these herself and um, sharing them on her Instagram because honestly, otherwise, I don't think I would have ever heard about this company. There's so many candle companies out there and you guys are constantly sending me recommendations. And believe me, I have an extensive list going um, of a ton of different companies that I want to try. And every time that you guys leave me a suggestion, please know that I write it down or I put another check mark, like if somebody else has already recommended it. So it kind of helps me gauge like what you guys are interested in seeing as well. But do know that I also have to balance that with what I'm actually interested in myself. So yeah, I mean, I, I have to like what I'm burning in my house. I don't, know. I don't do YouTube as a job, so I don't feel obligated to try things that I don't necessarily want to. I'm that kind of person. Anyway, you guys, let me know if you've tried anything from Glass House. Let me know what your favorite fragrances are. Check out the description box down below. I'll put a link to where I purchased these. 
I'll put a link to the discount or put the information for the discount code if you're interested. And um, yeah, all right, you guys. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.